Okay, so today we're going to work on this shoot from last year where these two just really wouldn't get together and the owner obviously wanted a photograph together. Um, so we kept her in the background and I said, don't worry about it, I'll fix it in the computer. So here we go. Uh, duplicate your layer, Control J. That means you'll uh, always have that layer to work with. Um, I use a combination of a patch tool. Can you see where that is on the left? Patch tool, there we go. A uh, bit of patch tool and a bit of clone. So patch works for certain things, doesn't work for others. It's it's kind of a combination of using the two together to find what works um, on what tones and textures and things. Um, so there we go. It's not a great job, but it's given us an idea. Ah, here we go. We've moved to the clone tool now. The clone tool gives me a more precise um, copy. So I'm doing the dog's fur. So here you go. So I'm selecting my spot and I'm moving it across of what I want to replace it. I want that bit of fur back up there. So it's always moving from one spot to another. Um, here again, I'm picking part of the grass and I'm replacing it over where I don't want, so where the trainer was effectively. Uh, there you go, before and after. So now we're going back to the patch tool. I didn't like that. The combination of the patch and the clone gives that kind of very, um, it's not so obvious. If you did everything in clone, it can look too fake because um, everything is ex exactly the same. And if you imagine grass is never exactly the same, it's it's different. So we're doing another layer now. So we're going to work on um, another piece. So we are starting with the big, uh, big main part, bulk of the image. Here, I'm going to use my clone tool. I'm looking at that line of grass, I'm selecting, and I'm moving it along. So what do I want to replace that area with? There. Selecting, pasting. It's basically copying and pasting pixels effectively. So I fast forwarded this bit uh, to try and keep your attention if you are still awake. Well done. Um, so it, it's it's a very slow process. It's I'm, I'm copying uh, pixels from the other side that I'm happy with and pasting them over the items that I don't want. But you've got to be careful that, that you're not being too obvious with it. I'm picking some darks and picking some light. It, it, it can't be exactly the same. Um, later on you'll see I, I go back to the patch tool as well because I'm, I'm not quite happy with the obviousness of the, the clone. Um, there we go, making the brush really small to try and kind of get into the intricate details around the, around the ear because it, it, you don't want to be cutting things out. It doesn't want to look look fake. You're trying to make this as natural as possible. Um, yeah, you go bit of bit of the patch tool there um, softens it. It it just it copies things in a different way. Back to the clone tool. Um, I am working at 100% there. If you can see at the top opacity 100%, um, you'll notice later on. As I'm trying to blend things a little bit better, I will use a lower opacity. Um, so that means I'm not being so 100% um, copy and paste. There is still some of the elements of the old image underneath there that I'm not wanting to get rid of. Again, it's, it's, it's all blending modes, using a bit more patch tool here. You can see before, after. Again, I'm keeping it forwards. Don't want to bore you too much. Are you still with me, guys? Wasn't quite happy with what we'd got, the obvious uh, lines at the top. Using a bit of patch tool again. Okay, so now I'm creating uh, the, the left-hand side from the right-hand side using a bit of grass. Some darks. You can see how it, the layers are all starting to build together. A bit more cloning, that using some of the light, light pixels, light bits of grass. Small brush right around the dog's head. Bit of patch tool again. It does take some time, guys. I'm afraid. <laughs> Slow and steady. Taking some of the darks from that side, slowly building it and putting it together again.
here I was telling you about that item you pasted it down I think I got it 67 or 57 percent there I can see so this is all about blending there's, there's too much dark and light the contrast is too obvious so you see look that's a brilliant job how the, the patch tool takes it and kind of merges it together bit of this bit of that just slowly working so she was there she's not there and again I'm probably not happy but you'll see in a bit what I do to kind of play with that I'm going to create a background copy on the right hand side so I've duplicated my original I've twisted it round so now the grass from the right is on the left hand side I've moved that to the top there you go the dogs are upside down I've added a layer mask turned that layer off and now with my brush tool I'm going to paint some of that layer back in so what I'm doing is the grass on the right hand side which is original and, and real I'm going to add to the left hand side to try and blend it and make it a little bit more realistic again I've made it fast forward for you doing a blending before and after and that mask Still not quite happy, so I'm going to add the patch tool again. A little bit more work, more blending. Just want to make it look not so obvious a bit before and after. We're getting there. A uh, bit of vignette, too obvious, turning the opacity down. I think that's about 40%. Little bits that I wasn't happy with. Okay, this is an interesting one, high pass. Just make sure images pop. I'll probably cover that on another video if this one goes well. Especially with animals, you get a nice texture to them. Here I'm just doing some overlay with light, painting in some light bits and some dark bits uh, to help the eyes pop, any highlights pop. Um, and then we're probably getting to be about there. Well, before and after, you can see how that just lifts everything a little bit. Let's look at the original, shall we? See what we've done. There we go. 